Hello? How you guys doing? Who wants to start today? Um, what's the what's the key to this particular pass rush to kind of defend? They're pretty good. I mean, I think they rush really good with their front four, but they uh, they also got some real good scheme stuff. So it's you know you got to prepare for both. You know sometimes they look like they're coming and they don't, but you still got to deal with their really good players up front. Um, sometimes they do come and you got to deal with their linebackers or safeties. So it's challenging defense. They've been really good for a long time since Coach Zimmer's really since he's been in the league, and uh, it's a big challenge. So good in the red area, good on third down. Um, been top ranked for a long time, so we got our hands full. You were, uh, you were talking to Jim Gray earlier in the week about just some, some of the things that you're dealing with physically and how, you know, for everybody across the league, physically, yep. you're dealing with some things. Do you feel like you're limited in any way, shape, or form as you get ready for the Vikings? No, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm ready to go, excited for the game. And um, it's a big game for us, a big game for them, but I feel good. I think everyone's dealing with different things. Um, but I'm able to go out there and play and hopefully play well. Have you been able to manage those sorts of aches and pains and bruises uh, better here in the second half of your career than maybe you were in the first? Uh, I haven't missed many games by injury uh, over the course of my career. So I think early on it was probably um, being pretty naive. You know, I think the second half of my career has probably been a little smarter. Um, so those two things have worked well at different times. Wisdom, right? Yeah, absolutely. I certainly had the age part and the wisdom I'm working on. Um, but yeah, it's just dealing with different things and everyone's dealing with something. It's been a long season. Tom, we saw you post on Instagram about a guy who lost everything in the California fires, but he saved your jersey. When yeah. you saw that, what did that mean to you? Yeah, that was pretty cool, pretty touching. And I think, um, you know, you think about the effect that you can have on certain people, not just in this part of the country, but in California and um, and I know we got a hold of him and gonna send him something, but I mean, it's a tough situation. I think everyone out in California was dealing with, um, you know, those those fires were crazy, and um, you know they certainly need a lot of help. When you saw the picture, what went through your head? It was pretty touching. I mean, I think it was just, you know, you just feel the pain, and but also, you know, that they could grab something, and um, but I mean, I can't imagine losing, you know, my house and everything I own. That would be very difficult. Um, but I've, you know, whether it was the floods in Houston last year, which were really tough. I mean, these natural disasters for a lot of these people and dealing with, you know, real life, I think it puts a lot of stuff in perspective in your life. You know, we feel like lose a game and you feel like, man, the whole world's caving in, but it's really, you know, keeping things in perspective. You realize, you know, it's a lot of people dealing with a lot of things that are very tough. And just to be able to provide support, I think for us as athletes is pretty cool and important, you know, in, in what we do. Wow, you send the ball to him. Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah, send the ball, and I think, yeah. So it's pretty nice. Tom, you uh, also told Jim Gray that you're hoping to continue wearing your old helmet into next season. What is it about the helmet that works for you so much better than the new ones you've tried out? I don't know. It works pretty good. I like the fit. I like the feel, the weight. It's comfortable. Um, so, yeah, it's just a good helmet. What happens if they don't let you continue wearing it? I don't know. Standoff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, your record we'll figure it out. Tom, your record in December is pretty unmatched. Uh, is it kind of a combination? I mean, you've always talked about after Thanksgiving and playing that with that focus. Is it maybe you understand the team better, the urgency is picked up, or what do you kind of attribute that to? I think we understand our team better, and I think, you know, we understand the other teams better. And I think just the mark of a good team is one that improves as the season goes. and. I don't think we ever take the, 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 you know, the foot off the pedal. So we're trying to play well in December. This is when, you know, all these games they all count the same. But you know, this time of year, you just you got to be playing your best. And I think that's um, what we all realize. And we're playing against a really good team. So I think the, there's just going to be no margin of error for us on Sunday. And uh, you know, they got a good defense. They got a you know very good high scoring offense. It's good in the kicking game. So it's a good matchup. Patterson is in his first year, obviously, with you guys. What has he been like? What has he brought you guys? He's been great. He's just been great attitude, great teammate. Um, you know, what we've asked him to do, both as a receiver, returner, and then play running back at different times. He's just, he's a great football player. And I think, however, he can, 
you know, impact the team, gaining yards or whether it's the kick game, pass game, run game, you know, he's willing to do it. He gained the ball. He tried to jump over the top of the line of scrimmage last week on the goal line, which was a great play. It was really close to getting in, but uh, just a little short. But he's just been a great player, great influence for the locker room, great, just, you know, just a great positive, you know, person, has a lot of fun and, you know, loves playing football. Did you call him that after one game slack? The experiment. That's what I call him. I call him the experiment. Just because he could do it all. You know, so we're all just trying new things with him. So I just love what he does. Um, Bill, said, uh, Bill said earlier today that, that he's learned a lot from you as a football coach. It, is it been valuable to you to have your voice heard in those situations that you've been able to play off each other and build off of each other in, in that respect? Yeah, I think, you know, it's. I feel the same way. I mean, I, I learned from certainly him, you know, how to, you know, the role that he's asked me to play. Um, you know, I always learn from him and what he's teaching and coaching, and it's really been that way since I got here. And, you know, I got to be around him a lot when I was younger, really as coaching us as quarterbacks, when he would teach us a lot about defense. And it was just a great introduction for me in the NFL to have Coach Belichick really teach me how to read defenses, how to study defenses, how to understand defensive players. And, um, you know, not a lot of players have the luxury of having that. So I'm very, very grateful. And, um, you know, I've learned from all the coaches. You know, I feel like everyone can offer a lot to me, and I take as much wisdom as they have. Um, the more information I get, the better it usually is for me. So. You still learning new, new things that way? Yeah, I mean, football, you never master. It's, it's, it's a chess match, and there's always different things. And, um, you know, every year is a little bit different. So you're learning every year, every day, every walk through, every meeting, um, different things. And sometimes you got to forget them, and then you relearn them. That's just the way it goes. So thank you, guys. Thank you,